I'm going to show you how to send text from Vim to another window, which is very useful for editing and interpreting Lisp side by side. This uses a Vim plugin written by Jonathan Pilardi that mimics the key bindings of Slime for Lisp and Emacs. Although not strictly necessary, let's create a much nicer Vim environment by creating at least a rudimentary .vimrc file in our home directory and put in a few commands like set smart indent, set auto indent, set hl search, set nu, set ruler, syntax on, and file type plugin on. Especially these last two lines will be useful for this demo. Now that we have our .vimrc set up, if we don't already have it, let's make a .vim directory in our home directory. Inside of that, make a plugin directory. And inside of that is where we'll stick the Vim plugin. It's from GitHub. So for wget, you'll need to use the no check certificate option to get around the self-signed certificate. Paste the URL, and we've got our file. So now if we edit any file with a .lisp extension, you'll see we automatically get the nice syntax highlighting, the uh, parentheses matching, and uh, auto indenting. If you edit a file with a .l extension, you just need to manually use the set file type equals lisp command. Now that we have Vim going, let's set up our other session here using screen. Do a screen dash capital S and give it a name like foo for the session name. And now let's name the window. So do control A, shift A, and set the window title to something like bar. So we got session name, window name, we're all ready to go. Type in SBCL and we're in the interpreter ready for input. Back in the Vim window, to send text you need to select it with a visual mode. You can do a whole paragraph at a time using a VIP. And uh, now the key binding to send text over is Control C, Control C to just like in Slime. Uh, to make sure that uh, these don't get picked up as separate commands, you'll want to hold down the control key and quickly type the C key twice. The first time you use it, you'll be prompted for the screen session name, which is foo, and the window name, which is bar. And you can see it sent the selected text right over and uh, we defined our function and used it, and it looks great. You can continue to select text in visual mode a line at a time, just with Shift V and scroll down, then Control C, Control C, and you'll see our function definition got copied right over. And then you can um, do it again to use our functions. That's about it.